Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are all the books that I will hopefully be reading this month in October. Baby, baby. It is finally October y'all. I am super excited. I love this time of year from October to January. It's just like beautiful, beautifulness. I wish that the weather would, would uh, take hint because it is currently like 90 degrees and very humid here in Texas. So Texas needs to catch up y'all. <laughs> so I have a few books to chat about for this video that I will hopefully be reading in October. First, we're going to be doing my spinner wheel pick. If you didn't know, I have channel memberships here where you can join to be a channel member of mine. Every single month you get perks that other people of my channel do not. Um, so you get weekly reading vlogs from me and you get to participate in monthly tbr videos so these books were picked by my lovely channel members and i'm going to spin the wheel and pick one of them and they will the book will be talked about in depth during those weekly reading vlogs like for my wrap-ups that i post on here basically that's a very short and condensed version of my weekly reading vlogs where i go in depth about books that i've been reading and loving so let's let's spin the wheel here Oh my gosh, <laughs> Jen's book won again. <laughs> if you know, Jen's book won last month and I loved it. So hopefully I love this one too. Um, she picked Ensnared by Tiffany Roberts for me to read. I feel like it's very fitting of me. I love alien romances and I love Tiffany Roberts. They're an amazing author duo. If you didn't know, they're a husband and wife author duo. I love them. Um, I've read a few of their books and they are super entertaining. And this book I've been wanting to read, but hesitantly because the spider thing kind of freaks me out uh, just a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, honestly, but Jen loves it. I know Nicole loves it. And so I'm going to read it. Here you go, Jen. I picked your book. I will read it this month. <laughs> if I didn't talk about the summary, it's basically an alien romance with an alien that looks like a spider. And that's all I didn't know. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna pick a book from my TBR jar. I don't like to pressure myself with my TBR jar anymore. I will pick out one book. All of these are the physical books on my physical shelf, which is not behind me, it's over there. Um, and I don't normally pressure myself because all of these books are physical books and I have to probably most of the time read them physically and I'm in a physical reading slump and I'm way too busy right now to read a book physically. Um, so I don't put myself down if I'm not able to read this book. If I want to pick up a physical book, this should be my goal, the one that I pick out of here. Like I was not able to read last book, last month's pick and it's okay. It's fine. That book will probably go back into the jar. This is just for me in case I want to actually read a physical book and if I have by some miracle the time, this will be the one that I pick. So let's pick one. I picked this which is, well, I've already read this one. Fantasy Lover by Sherlyn Kenyon. I have read this. Okay, I love when that happens. I feel so accomplished when I pick a book that I've already read. <laughs> okay, let's pick another one. It's gonna be whatever this one is. This, oh, there's two. Um, this one is, oh no, I'm not reading this. This is a Cat Martin book, and the last time I picked a Cat Martin book, I despised it. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Sorry, I'm not gonna torture myself. Um, let's pick a different one. Pick this one, which is... Okay, I picked Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. If you can, probably cannot see that. But it is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Um, let me go find the book. Here it is. This is a fantasy book that I first heard about from one of my favorite, favorite booktubers, Pierre Ford. I love her. She just had a baby and like, oh, I, I love her. I love her so much. So I first heard about this book from Piera um, and it kind of got like put off to the wayside after the years just because I, I've been kind of like a general fantasy overall slump, not a fantasy romance because hello, love fantasy romance, but like a fantasy book in general just like isn't floating my boat at the moment. So it like hasn't really been on my priority. So I know that there is an audiobook out there. We'll see how long the audiobook a weight is but I do have the signed first editions of both book one and book two and they've just been sitting on my shelves for years <laughs> even though I haven't read them yet so hopefully if I'm feeling the mood I'll pick this up and I'll honestly see if there is a audiobook in Libby for me the last jar that I'm going to pick from is my shout out mug right here um, I created this recently and I just thought it would be super fun to shout people out in some of my videos so 
we're gonna do it. We're gonna pick one today. These are, this is everybody that I am subscribed to that is a booktube channel in here. Um, and I put everyone in here, whether they're big or small, because we need to hype up those big people too, I feel like. Um, so let's just pick one of these. Here, we'll pick this one. And this one is, who are you? Oh my goodness, it is my lovely friend, Chloe from Always Booked. I love Chloe so much. I feel like Chloe reads so many different things. She really loves romance books, obviously, the more on the, the lighter side, I wanna say. I also know that Chloe isn't that big of a fan of like steamy books. So if you're not that big of a fan of steamy, steamy books, um, or if it's just not your preference like Chloe, I would go ahead and check out her channel. I know that she loves women fic women's fiction books. I know that she likes just a wide variety. I know that she likes mysteries and mysteries. I think I wanna say mysteries and thrillers, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like she reads like, a little bit of everything. I think she's amazing. She is so sweet. She's one of the sweetest people ever. Um, I've been loving her vlogs. Her vlogs are super entertaining and you can tell that she's just a flippin' amazing mom. I love her dearly so please go check out Chloe if you haven't yet. So let's get into the actual books that I picked out for my TBR. The first is The Jekyll by J.R. Ward. This is the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood prison camp series. Um, this is a spinoff to the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I have listened to I want to say two hours already of it. Black Dagger Brotherhood characters do pop up pop up in here. I am reading her books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood universe in publication order um because I feel like I would get the most experience out of that so this was the next one on my roster and this is a paranormal book so why not read it in October I might read other Black Tiger Brotherhood books in October but we'll see um I don't really know all that much about this one so far it's just about a woman who or a vampire woman who is trying to find her sister who is in this prison camp and she comes across the jackal why she's trying to find her in this prison and the jackal has been in this um, prison for vampires for over 100 years and they just met. So that's all I know about it. Um, a vampire romance book. I haven't heard the best reviews from this book from my friends. So we'll see if I actually love it. Cause sometimes I'm like in the minority when it comes to Black Dagger Brotherhood books. You know, like I love some of the ones that other people hate. So we'll see. Then I have The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. No, I have not read this book yet. <laughs> I've honestly just been waiting for the right time and I actually put the hold on Libby for the audiobook like over a month ago and it's finally coming in this month and I am so excited. So I won't know a lot about a lot of these summaries for these books. That's just me as a person. I like to go into books more blind. Um, but I've just heard amazing things about this book. I really liked Beach Read. Um, it's somewhere on my shelves behind me. Um, and so I'm very excited to read this one. I adore Friends to Lovers. It's my favorite trope if you didn't know. So um, Everyone pushed me to read this one, I guess. <laughs> then I have another Libby book that will be coming in for me in October, which is Ad Adiron. Adiron. I don't know how to pronounce his name, y'all. This is the first book in the Corsair Brothers series by Ruby Dixon. Uh, luckily, Libby had an audiobook in for me. Um, last month I had this on my TBR, but it was only on Kindle Unlimited. Like, I just on a whim, like, decided to look on Libby because my Libby updates their books a lot and like they've gotten more and more Ruby Dixon books in y'all they used to have only like five from that Ice Planet Barbarian series and now they have over 50 of her audiobooks y'all it's amazing if you want to listen to Ruby Dixon go check out your library's audiobook service because they might have them this all I know is the first book in a new series we have met the brothers that this series is centered around um in previous uh books in the Risdiverse series and i believe the corsair series their like spaceship is commandeered by some people and i think he falls in love with the woman who took over his spaceship <laughs> another libby hold that is coming in for me in october is devil in winter by lisa kleipas this is the third book in the wallflower series i read book one and book two last month and loved it and everyone loves this one. This is their favorite one. Devil in Winter is their favorite one and I can't wait to read it. This is about Evie and Sebastian. If you didn't know, each book in this series is about a woman who is a wallflower and them finding their love interest. The reason why uh, Evie is a wallflower is because she has a very severe stutter um, and some men don't even talk to her because of it, which sucks. And so Sebastian was kind of like a villain in one of the previous books. And I guess this is his romance between Evie and him. And I think Evie proposes a marriage of convenience to him because I think her family is trying to put her in a marriage that she doesn't want. Um, and it's gonna be very interesting because we've seen Sebastian be kind of a not so nice person in some of the previous books. So um, I'm also very interested because my favorite book by Lisa Kleipas is Devil in Spring, which is book number three 
in the Ravenel series, and that series is about their son falling in love. And so we got like some glimpses of them in that book, and I loved them. And I messaged Jen, because Jen recommended the, the Ravenels to me. And I was like, does this couple have their own book? And she's like, yes, they do. And I was like, I can't wait to get to that one. And I'm finally getting to it. I will hopefully love it. I feel like I'm setting my expectations a little too high, but you know what? I'm excited, okay? I'm in the mood to read some shifter books because it is spooky season. I feel like paranormally shifter books are, are the way to go right now. And so um, I started the Bride Hunt series by Charlene Hart and Nady a couple years ago. I want to say right when I started my booktube channel and I never continued on. And I really liked book one and book two. So I own the box set of the first three books and I never read book three. So the third book is Dragon King. What I remember about this book uh, series is that the book one you like had these dragon shifters and they ended up kidnapping like women and putting them in this hunt and they were all released into the wild and they ran away obviously and the dragons like followed up after like a couple minutes after they started running um and that's how you found your mate is you caught them um like whenever you catch a woman like that is your mate during these games and so the king is wanting a mate and I think he participates in these games. I'm not really sure but the first two books were very enjoyable to me and so I can't wait to read this one. Next I have Not My Type by Evie Mitchell. This book comes out in October and I am so excited. So many of my friends are reading this in October and we are so excited for this. So this is about Frankie and she is in a wheelchair and she also is the host of the All Access podcast and she talks about kind of um stuff that goes on between people in a intimate way. Let's just say that. That's like what the podcast is about. I'm trying to keep my channel as PJ as possible y'all. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, a listener asks her for advice on what to use like how to use rope in a certain situation, if you know what I mean. Um, and she doesn't know, she doesn't have an answer for this person. There she meets Jay, who is not like into monogamy, like at all, he's a one done, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of dude. Um, and so I think he helps her learn about this form of art, if you wanna say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think things progress from there and it just sounds so good and like isn't this cover just gorgeous you guys then i wanted to read a book on kindle unlimited i decided to pick up the witch's wolves by ellie may mcgregor this book has been talked about non-stop by some of my friends and i personally know nothing about this except that it's about a witch i don't want to know anything else but i just know that it is a no novella that my friends have been loving and so I wanted to pick it up. <laughs> the cover is gorgeous, it's on KU. Of course I'm gonna pick it up. Then I have Dragon Unleashed by Grace Draven. I wanted to read a fantasy romance and this one was the way to go. Um, I love Grace Draven, one of my favorite authors of all time. She wrote my favorite romance book, Radiance over here. Um, and this is the second book to Phoenix Unbound. Uh, I don't know if you have to read them in order, but um, that's what I'm gonna do. I read Phoenix Unbound and this is the second book in that series. So I assume that you have to read Phoenix Unbound before this one. I'm not sure though. Don't count me on that. I am not going to read the summary for this because I'm going going to go into her book extremely blind. I just know that Riley from Riley Marie loved this book. I trust her opinion. I trust her opinion as a fellow Grace German lover. <laughs> then I have the fourth and final book in the uh, Wild Season series by Christina Lauren, Wicked Sexy Liar. I don't know what this book is about. I think it's just maybe a combination of all three couples from the Wild Season series. If you didn't know, the first book in the series is about three girlfriends and three guy friends. They end up meeting in Vegas and they all have one night together and they end up drunkenly getting married to one another in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I each book is about a different couple and I think book four is just a culmination of all of them all of their romances like maybe after their books um so I don't really know what this one is about but I'm excited to read this one and then say that I completed a Christina Lauren series then I have Heart Recaptured by Tilly Cole this is the second book to the Hades Hangmen series um this is a motorcycle club series and I loved and adored book one so you you bet i'm gonna pick this one up too i believe this is about L delilah and kai kai is a part of the motorcycle club we learned about in book one and um delilah was a part of the cult that we learned about in book one now these books or i know from book one that the rest are probably really dark as well they're really dark they talk about there's many trigger warnings for abuse 
sexual assault, assault of a minor, sexual assault of a minor. It's, it was hard to read about at points, so these books are very dark, so just beware. Um, and I expect this book to be very, as, as dark or even darker than book one. So um, I really enjoyed this series and I really like how in book one you really got to see this heroine really break down this hard exterior man and make him into a big softie for her and I'm hoping that's what the rest of the books are about as well. And lastly I have Suffer Less by KB Everly. This is a book that I checked out on Kindle Unlimited and I have this one checked out just because I have a list of books on my Amazon page, an Amazon list filled with books that are on Kindle Unlimited that have disability representation in them, and I'm always trying to find books that have disability wrap in them. And so I decided to just pick this one up. The cover intrigued me. And this is actually a reverse harem book. What? Are we reading a reverse harem? I have read reverse harems, okay? I have. Um, reverse harems, I'm very picky of I want to say, just because I hate when the author does this thing where all of the heroes or the love and the guy love interests are all basically the same except for one broody dude <laughs> does anyone else notice that like all of them are the same except for one broody dude it kind of gets old at points when i read books i am way more into characterization that pl than plot that's just who i am love more characterization than plot and with with reverse harems it's kind of hard for me to get on board with them because a lot of the characterization isn't there for me because they're very cookie cutter the same and like it just it bugs me it bugs me um i have read up to like 35 percent of this book already and so far i'm really enjoying it there's only three guys in here so it's not that much and so far i'm really liking it we'll see though the romance ro like the romance romance part between all three of them have not happened yet um i think the most they've done is one person has kissed like a girl has kissed one of them so far um but this one uh claims to be a dark romance we'll see if that actually holds up though um there is a trigger warning in here um for attempted sexual assault um physical violence um death of a loved one um the heroine oh, i forgot to, tell men to mention the heroine is an amputee and it's also own voices because the author is also an amputee um so a lot of her feelings and thoughts go into this and i feel like that's really authentic so far when i'm reading about it so so far i'm really enjoying it um and i can't wait to finish it so there you have it those are all the books that i will hopefully be reading in october please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one Bye, y'all.